For today's video, I'm going to show you how to wash your wool garments in the washing machine. So there are a few steps that we need to be aware of if we're going to wash our wool garments. So the first thing that we want to do here is that we want to look through the wool garments and kind of think to ourselves, do I really need to wash this yet? Because you know what, it is a little bit harsh if you're going to wash the wool all the time. You can actually go so far as to not wash it. Uh, you can go all the way down to or up to three months actually because wool contains a lot of linoleum in it and that will actually help remove um, you know sweat uh, smells in general now of course you don't want to go that long with your wool socks you may have some problems with the people around you starting to complain but that is definitely an option for outer layers like sweaters and such now once we have decided that we actually need to wash some of the garments the next thing that we want to do is to check the label on the garment now you don't need to do this every time obviously but you should familiarize yourself with uh, what they do require of a wash so once you have looked through all your wool garments you kind of get familiarized with them the two big things that you want to look for is the temperature and whether or not you can wash it in the washing machine now if it does say it's hand wash only Realistically, you can still wash it, in, wash it in a washing machine, and I personally do. But you want to be <laughs> especially careful that you want to use a hand wash only program and you want to try to avoid uh, agitation. But I'll talk more about that coming up here. Now, the other thing that you want to look for when you're checking the labels is to look if there are any stains on the garments. If there are any stains, I do recommend that you pre treat them in. A basin or a bucket anywhere really and you do that by only adding a little bit of wool detergent to the actual stain I'm gonna rub it now you can leave the garments in there for a while let them soak get rid of the stain completely what's most important here is that you use cold water or not above what the label suggests and also that you use some things especially made for wool or at least super super gentle because wool is very delicate as you see we're so careful with it right so I don't go ruining it here. Now, here's a cool little uh, extra hack that I wanted to add in here. If you're scared that your clothes are going to shrink, you know, maybe you have something really nice, like this cool Norwegian uh, handmade sweater, uh, <laughs> uh, is that you can actually put cold water in the basin and throw your clothes in there and leave it for, let's say half an hour or so. And that should help prevent uh, any shrinkage here as we're starting to wash the clothes. We've talked a lot about precautions now, so let's jump over to the actual washing part. So first off, what you want to do here is wring the clothes inside out. This will help protect them against piling and frankly it's going to help with shrinking too. Uh, it's going to make your clothes last longer as it's the inside that's being um, damaged in any case that there would be damage. Another great option is that you could use something like mesh bags. I use these a lot on delicates. Now you can just open them up. They're super cheap. I'm going to add some links if you're interested in buying some of these. But it's as simple as just stuffing whatever clothes you have inside the mesh bag, closing it up, and that's ready to go in the washing machine. So there is this myth that you can't mix your wool with other clothes uh, because they will cause piling. And I'm here to tell you that that is not true. It's fine to wash your wool along with other clothes. Just keep in mind that you need to go for the more gentle cycles, wool, hand wash. Uh, you can't use regular cycles. Let's just throw these clothes into the washer here. Da -da. Load it up. Now you want to be careful that you don't overload your washing machine here. First of all, that's going to be very damaging to the actual washing machine, especially these top loaders. It's going to press down on the drum. Secondly, it's not going to clean the clothes properly and it can actually cause um, too much friction inside the washing machine. So make sure that you leave it to whatever recommendations your washing machine a manufacturer suggests. So I'm just going to add some other clothes here. These are rayon. We're going to do a video on that next that you can check out there. So up in the corner somewhere if you're interested. But I'm just gonna wash some of them at the same time because the washing machine isn't quite full yet. Next up, we're simply gonna close up the washing machine here and we're turning it on. Ta -da. So this is the front loader, but this will work just the same on your top loaders as well. So we're also going to add a little bit of super gentle detergent here. This is a Norwegian one, but just make sure that it's gentle. I'm going to add a suggestion down in the comments in case you don't have wool friendly detergent. Wool Light, super popular brand. So you can read the instructions uh, at the back side how much detergent you actually need. I usually like to undershoot this one a little bit because generally people use way too much detergent anyway. So I am just going to do, let's say, 40 milliliters should be more than enough. 40 milliliters equals 
almost three tablespoons, two and three quarters or something like that. So we just add that directly into the tray here, like this. And you never want to use fabric softener with wool. It's not good for the wool. It's not going to coat it properly. We talked about the linoleum earlier. That's just going to damage it. So skip the fabric softener. What you can do instead is that you can add a little bit of vinegar, white vinegar. And make sure that it's not the strong stuff. Below 10% should be good. So what you can do in that case is that you add... Uh, this washer takes up to 100 milliliters, but I think uh, maybe 40 is enough. So let's say three tablespoons of that as well. Just load it up there. Now this is going to help soften the wool, especially if you have kind of itchy wool, you know, then white vinegar is going to be your big savior here. It also helps remove smell, which is super cool. And you wouldn't think that because vinegar kind of smells, right? But actually it has a lot of smell removing capabilities in it. So here we have it loaded up. So I'm just gonna close up the tray here. The next thing here is the most important thing of all when you're washing your wool. And that is what program you're going to use. So. As you can see here, we have a lot of options. We even have one specifically for wool on my washing machine here. Uh, I'm just gonna turn the temperature down. But in case you don't have anything like this uh, and you just have, uh, let's say, a cotton program, what you want to do in that case is that you turn down the spin cycle as much as possible. You can't go low enough with this one. If you can turn it off entirely, that's actually the very best thing for your wool. If not, uh, try to keep a low one. Now, if you have clothes that ha are hand wash only, definitely turn off the spin cycle. Otherwise, it's going to damage your clothes. Now, if you have a hand wash cycle on your washing machine, that's also a great option. Anything delicate really will work very well here. So I'm going to turn down the temperature here, down to 30. You can do cold wash as well, but 30 should be totally fine. And from here, it's as simple as starting it up and then we'll come back later and check on the wool garments. All right, so the wash is done here and now I'm gonna talk a little bit about how to dry your clothes. So I generally recommend that you skip using the dryer for clothes. We talked a lot about the spinning that can hurt the clothes, also heat will hurt the clothes. If you do insist to use the dryer, use the lowest settings, low, 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 low. But they have dryer settings for wool, but I try to avoid it at all costs. What is better to do is hang them to dry made a whole guide on this in the past, but let me just show you some cool tricks that you can use for wool as well. Uh, if you're worried about the wool taking a long time to dry, what you can do is place down a towel and then from here you simply take your wool garments and kind of press out some of the, the liquid from them. This way you get the clothes to dry a lot faster. Also they don't contain as much water so they don't stretch so much when you're hanging them to dry. This is especially effective for like sweaters and garments like this that may stretch a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to press out the water on all of these garments and then we'll leave them on the drying rack here. All right, so as you can see here, we now hung up all the clothes, uh, lined them up like this. Now, if you're worried about creasing as they hang like this, what you could alternatively do as well is place um, one garment over multiple of these prongs. That way they get more surface area and uh, there is not so much weight on each side. I think that you don't need to do that, especially if you're gonna go over it with a towel first and just press out some of the water. Be gentle again, you know, wool. And if you're into these types of videos, cleaning, organizing clothes, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. I have a lot more videos on these topics. You can check out this one, which is really awesome. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.